she she was literally a ray of sunshine from the beginning she was so excited about finding her way in the world and even though we're from a small town and she loves coming home uh it's beautiful here she wants to see the world always wanted to see the world and if you um, know anything about her or anybody knows anything about her they know that she traveled as much as she could we're we're very broken we're very broken hearted it's just so it's so painful for such something someone so bright and having so much to offer just to be gone snuffed out and it and i don't know why i don't know why and the horrific nature of of her last moments must have been it's i can't even i can't even go there i do i do believe she was murdered yes from what i've been able to gather as well as a mother scott i learned very young as a mom to trust my gut and uh, i don't it's not let me down my daughter um 26 year old daughter uh has been missing since friday night uh talking wednesday uh, plans for Christmas when she was going to make flights to come home. We just didn't finalize them yet. Uh, Thursday, missing each other. Happy Thanksgiving, missing each other. It was a busy day on her end and our end. And so it was just one of those in passing, you know, type yeah. of love good things. And then Friday, we just honestly just Friday got away. Mm -hmm. Busy day and we never talked. And um, And then she went missing Friday night. And I have not seen her or heard from her since. We were notified on Saturday that she was missing by her husband. He called us up to let us know. And that's when, of course, any parent goes into full panic mode. Mm -hmm. And that's where we've been ever since. She would not necessarily contact me every day. She's kind of got an independent flair. So I just let her, I let her live and we just communicate as needed and and definitely do, um, but she has a close knit group of friends and um, they've never known her to disappear and I've never known her to not communicate when we reach out to her ever. She always has her phone with her and she always responds. Okay. And we have frantically been texting her and messaging her and calling her. Um, Christmas last year, mm -hmm. we had plans to get together in April, COVID. We had plans to get together for Thanksgiving COVID. And so um, I haven't seen her since Christmas. She is, um, she's got long, uh, kind of dirty blonde hair. Um, of course, I'm her mom, but I think she's beautiful. Um, she has blue eyes. Um, she has some unique um, placed tattoos. Uh, her last name is Sharky. So on her forearm, um, she has a shark and she has a rose and she has um, just some uh, scripture verses and just some different uh, tattoos that are tucked away that you don't notice unless, you know, she wears something where you can see them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she has a, a white Jeep Rubicon that she drives and um, I, I don't even know what to describe. Does she have any nicknames she goes by? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, Alexis or Lex. If anybody has any knowledge or any idea, we would so greatly appreciate it. She is a smart, beautiful girl that has so much to offer. And we, we need to get her home. We need to find her. And we miss her terribly.